Are you tossing and turning at night, haunted by the thought of losing your home due to the late mortgage payment? You're not alone, my friend, in this struggle. And there's a beacon of hope on the horizon in today's session. I am going into the realm of late mortgage payments forgiveness. This complex topic could hold a key to your financial relief, but its landscape fit with pitfalls and misleading paths. Some solutions are heavily promoted by the banks. While they might seem attractive and presented to you like a no big deal, if you take the bait, it could actually worsen your situation. Stay with me until the very end, because I'm going to reveal the one option that seems simple, but is in fact a trap you should avoid at all costs. Let's get right into this journey of discovery together and navigate these turbulence waters and find a safe harbor for your financial and housing security. Sounds good? So let's peel back the layers of, of late mortgage payments forgiveness. This term encompasses various strategies your lender might offer to help you get back on track with your mortgage payments. We're looking at spectrum of solutions, each tailored to different circumstances. First, there's the option of loan modification. The loan modification is about changing the terms of your original loan to make the payments more manageable. This could mean reducing the interest rates, extending the loan term, or even restructuring the debt in a way that lowers your monthly payment. This does require a lengthy process and with the right guidance, can be an attractive solution that will help you save your house from foreclosure. Next up, we have the forbearance plan. These are agreements where your lender allows you to temporarily pause or reduce your mortgage payments. Think of it like this, a breathing space, a pause button on your financial obligations to the bank. And it's designed to give you time to reorganize your finances without the pressure of making immediate payments. Then there are the repayment programs. Imagine your late payment is being broken down into smaller, more manageable amounts added onto your future mortgage payments. It's a way to catch up gradually without the overwhelming burden of paying everything back all at one lump sum. But it's important that you take a very close look at your finances and look at it with the idea that you can make the larger monthly payments. But a word of caution, you want to make an intelligent decision and avoid the possibility of the debt eating into the equity that you already accumulated through the years of owning your home. Thankfully, the journey doesn't really end here. There are government programs like HUMP, Home Affordable Modification Program, and HAFA, Home Affordable Foreclosure Alternatives. This is designed specifically for homeowners in distress. These programs offer structured pathways to modify or refinance your loan under more favorable terms. Refinancing options like HARP can be a lifeline, especially if your home's market value has fallen below you all. And let's not overlook special assistance for various groups like military service members, who can actually benefit from programs like the Service Members Civil Relief Act, offering foreclosure protection and reduced interest rates. Local initiatives also play a crucial role. For instance, in New York City, the Mortgage Assistance Program, MAP, offers targeted help to households at risk of foreclosure, providing loans to help them stay in their homes. And for those with FHA or HUD loans, there's the option of a partial claim, a one-time payment that actually brings your mortgage current. It's like a financial reset button to help you start all over fresh. Now it's time to talk about that one option that I mentioned earlier, the one you should tread carefully around. I am talking about the deed in lieu of foreclosure. This is the path where you voluntarily hang over the keys to your home to the bank. It might sound like a straightforward solution, but it comes with heavy consequences. You lose your home and it leaves a very lasting scar on your credit history. Banks might present this to you as an easy exit, but in reality, it's a route filled with risk and should only be considered when all other avenues have been thoroughly explored and exhausted. It's a last resort measure, not a first choice solution. If you would only know the number of times I had conversations with homeowners after a list pendants of foreclosure was filed against them. 
Oh my gosh. And they said, and I quote this, Oh, I spoke with my lender and I'm going to do a deed in lieu of foreclosure. And we have done so much work to help these homeowners just stay in the house. And we were negotiating multiple different things with the bank. And no, they did not give the keys to the bank. The only beneficiary of getting the keys to your house is the bank. They're the ones who are going to be saving money. They're the ones who don't have to go through the foreclosure process. They're the ones that just going to get your keys and walk away and take everything you worked so hard for. So please don't ever consider this option before exploring all the available options and possibilities that you have. Deal? So today's discussion obviously is the late mortgage. Late mortgage payment forgiveness isn't really a forgiveness just like we've seen through this conversation today, but does offer multiple options and resources. And that's what I want from you. The goal is for you to do everything possible to keep your home and avoid foreclosure. I hope you feel better equipped to face the challenges ahead. Knowledge is a powerful tool in navigating the complexities of mortgage payments and financial distress. If this conversation has shed light on your path, please consider to subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us bring more empowering content to people just like you. And there's more to come. In my next session, I'm going to be diving into the critical topic, when does a late mortgage gets reported? This information is vital for every homeowner, impacting your financial health and future. You won't want to miss it. Thank you for spending this time with me. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. Together, we can find solutions, regain stability, and build a brighter financial future. Until next time, stay informed, stay empowered, and keep striving for financial freedom. Goodbye for now, and I look forward to our next session together.